Hi, it's Rachel with Stirring the Deep. I want to talk to you about a very important truth, and that is the truth itself comes from within. You learn it within you where God meets you in your spirit. And this is a very important truth to understand in these days because this has to do with how the kingdom of God is coming and being established. It's the reason why Christ died that a lot of people don't fully understand. And I want to share with you some of those things. And it's also how you are not deceived in these days, which is also extremely important for your soul depends on the truth. For that's what you see throughout the Bible. Those who are in the protected sanctuary of God in these days, who are protected from all that's going to be happening in this world, are those who understand this truth that I'm going to talk about today. And that is that you learn the truth from within you. Lies come from without. False images, lies, deception. The truth comes from within. And all of religion, okay, which is man's doctrines, interpretations, images about God, who God is, how to serve him, what God wants from you. All religions are, it's the whole philosophy, it's like this coming from the outward in. You know, the whole dynamic of learning from other teachers and religious leaders and pastors, and that's where you go to learn. Um, all of that is what Christ came to remove all of that because that always leads to deception. And I'm going to explain why. And I want to start by bringing up the example of the Pharisees. Now, the Pharisees felt like they were the sons of Abraham, right? That Abraham was their father. They thought God of the Bible, and they knew the scriptures. They had to memorize. They believed that this was their God. They believed it wholeheartedly. And yet, what did Jesus tell them? Your father is the devil. What? Wow. Those are some powerful words. The reason why is because they were receiving, they had a religion in which they were receiving everything from the outward in. They weren't going and seeking and having that relationship with God himself. Okay? And they didn't understand this dynamic. That's why when the Spirit of God was right before them in Jesus, they didn't recognize. In fact, they wanted to kill him. And the images that they got from the Bible, see, the Bible can be interpreted, when it is interpreted by the mind of a man, it's full of deception and misinterpretations. It can only be understood when it is taught by the Holy Spirit to your spirit. That's it. You can't even have someone else reading it and explaining it to you. It has to be taught by the Holy Spirit to your spirit. And that's how you have all these inter different interpretations. And which you can get out of this is such a twisted interpretation that actually makes God, that God figure, a total false image that is actually crafted by evil, which is full of lies, which is crafted by Satan. Because that's why he said, your father's devil. They were literally worshiping the devil and serving the devil and serving Satan because that was the image that they were serving, full of hypocritical love and full of fear and guilt and accusing and condemnation and um, eternal torment. And there was no true power. There was no true love. It what This is what they were calling God. And it wasn't God. So that's what Jesus was showing by that statement. And that's how wrong those interpretations of the Bible can be. Okay? And that's why Jesus... When Peter, when he came to Peter, let me read those verses. It's Matthew 16, 17, and 18. And Jesus answered and said to them, Blessed are you, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father who is in heaven. And I also say to you that you are Peter, and on this rock, the revelation from the Father, I will build my church, the true temple body of Christ, and the gates of Hades shall not prevail against it. 
when you are taught by God from within, it is that's the rock that you stand upon that nothing can prevail against it. Even the gates of Hades, all the lies, the pit, the darkness, all the deception, because you have the truth. But it comes from within. And that's how Jesus was going to build that church, that true body, that temple where he would dwell. And it was his spirit. So you have this dynamic where if you're coming from the outside, if you have any religion, if you are learning about God from the doctrines of man, from some other person, it's wrong. You can only learn by it being revealed from within your spirit. That is why we were given the Holy Spirit, to teach us all things. But this is why in the end, Christ's kingdom, it comes from within us. Because when you learn that truth from within you, it is so powerful. And it defeats all the lies. And that's what's going to happen is that everybody's going to be start understanding this truth, learning from within, that's truly defeating the lies. They're going to be protected from deception. That's how that kingdom's going to start. That's how that sanctuary is established here. It pushes out all the deception, all the lies of people growing of the truth within. And as it happens, that kingdom spreads and it starts just destroying all the lies. They can't take root anymore until all of them are destroyed, until the last one, death. Because death is a result of sin, sin is a result of lies. Okay, And you see how important this is. Because even when Jesus was speaking here, people couldn't understand, his very disciples couldn't understand what he was saying. They can't, you can't grasp the truth unless it's taught from within. Adam and Eve, when they were walking in the garden with God, they, could, they went astray. So no matter how perfect that is, there's, if it's coming from the outside, you can always be open to deception. That is why Christ had to die, to basically put his spirit in us so that we can learn this way. And that's the new covenant, right? The God says no one's going to teach each other. All will know God. He's going to write his truth on our hearts. He's going to teach us. Those are taught by God come to Christ. So this is what it's all about. That's why organized religion, religions, none of that makes any sense. None of that's of God because that's all from the outside. Everybody that's in that is living just like they're living like Christ never came. Because they're living, because this is why Christ came. And when that happens, when you have that truth in you, you're, you become a new creation. It renews your mind, which changes everything and it creates this peace around you it creates rest it is everything and so just this other picture of the pharisees in lamentations 2 14 it says your prophets have seen for you false and deceptive visions they have not uncovered your iniquity to bring back your captives but have envisioned for you false prophecies and delusions that's who people are listening to and they don't understand it because they're not looking and learning from god from within so they don't even understand that that's deception. It's like, if your light in you is darkness, how great is that darkness? If you think you have the truth because of what you've heard from somebody else and it sounds good to you, how great is your darkness? Because those are the people that say, Lord, Lord, didn't we do all these things in your name? They thought they knew God. They didn't know him because everything they learned about God had come from outside. So you see, the Bible can be totally misinterpreted if you're if you're learning from man it's all that religion that's what it does you have to be taught by the holy spirit and you see this is religion when it creates all of this man-made image of god that's the 666 it's just man creating god so in first john 5 7 it says for there are three that bear witness in heaven the father the word and the Holy Spirit, and these three are one, okay? And so 666, six is the number of man. So instead of having the three witnesses be of God, which three often represents God, it's instead of it's man's image of God. So religion has made this image of God. So God the Father is wrong. It's like the Pharisees. Their father was the devil who they thought were God. The word is totally misinterpreted so that it's full of lies because it's been relied on by the carnal man and the reasoning of man instead of being revealed by the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is really no, isn't the spirit of all, but it's still man relying on their flesh and their own spirit to lead and guide them, which 
So everything of God has been, um, it's all a man-made image. And that's what that 666 is. And so religion has exalted itself to the very throne of God, called itself God because it's calling its images of God, God, which aren't God at all. And you can, and people, what has happened too is they've tied religion and so close to God that the moment you mention God, people think church, going to a church, church system, religion, I'm telling you is two totally different things. And you got to understand that and God will show you that difference. You've got to be taught by him. And this is why people can't stop going to church even when they see all the hypocrisy in it, even when they see how many is going against God's ways and God's truth because they feel like that is God. It's not. It's not of God. This is why Jesus came. He is, was our salvation because he came to put himself in us so that he could enter our flesh, so that we could learn that truth from the inside because that's how you're not deceived. That's why the elect aren't deceived in these days because they learn this truth. They understand where the hidden manna comes from. It's hidden because it comes from within, out. And yes, other people can have that same truth, but it's all because you have the truth when you're taught by the Spirit of God and then it totally resonates with someone else that's being taught by the Spirit of God and then you can share that and have that true fellowship, light and light. But if someone isn't being taught by God, that all, all they have is darkness. And so there is no fellowship with darkness and light. And that's part of the separation. That is a separation that you're seeing happening in these days. Those are being taught by the outside. Those that are giving into religions. They're going in one way where those are really being embracing the spirit of Christ that is becoming so alive in them in these days. That's why the kingdom, they're starting to bud. They're starting to see the blooming of that tree. That's why you know the time is near because you see that spirit in you and that revelation of truth and you know it's God in you because it's unlike anything that you've experienced in your life. And again, Christ coming, this is what it was about because most people think it's the forgiveness of sins, but God was forgiving in the Old Testament. Okay, before the manifestation of Christ in this earth. So it wasn't about the forgiveness of sins. It was about the fact that when it's anything from the outside, you will be deceived. So he, God had to put himself in us and that whole process of Christ entering the flesh, entering the death, conquering it, and now being raised in these last days in his spirit in us, that is the salvation. And that's when you learn the truth. And when you know the truth, it sets you free and makes you a new creation. You have a new mind and you will forever live in that truth because it is in you. It's a part of you. You have a part of the divine nature now. And that's now you understand when it says in 2 Corinthians 4, 11, for we who live are always delivered to death for Jesus' sake, that the life of Jesus also may be manifested in our mortal flesh. And this also ties into 1 John 4. By this you know the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is of God, in the flesh, in us, not just on the outside. And every spirit that does not confess that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is not of God. And this is the spirit of the Antichrist, which you have heard is coming and now is already in the world. If it's always external, that's of the Antichrist. That's the religions. That's the deceptions. What comes in your flesh when it's Christ in your flesh? And you can only really understand that and truly confess that and experience it when it's happening within you. And that's how you can only really speak that by the Holy Spirit. That, this is the new covenant. This is how the kingdom is coming, is that it's God that teaches you. God's truth is in you, that spirit in you, teaching you about how to live, how to walk, who he is. He, he gives you the wisdom in your life and the details of your life that create peace and rest and love and joy. And you start seeing this created in your life. This is what it's about. And this is very important to understand because when you understand this, this is how you enter into the kingdom because the kingdom comes from within you. This is how Jesus is coming as a thief because he's coming within us. This is the hidden manna. Will the pure manna from heaven be enough from you, be enough for you? Remember, that was the thing with the Israelites in the wilderness. 
that hidden manna it's that manna of heaven is that enough or do you need all this outward external stuff telling you who God is purge that and seek to be taught by God about God and know the truth Till next time, keep stirring the deep. It's the one thing that changes everything else.